the subject I'm going to cover is still a theory of mine. I mean, it, it's not proven by science, but from experience and empirical observations, uh, I really I feel strongly about that theory, and I feel so strongly that I'm comfortable telling you about it. Uh, and I'm talking about the relationship between your neurological profile and your muscle fiber dominance. I mean, as we saw, you have five main profiles, but with three main categories. Uh, you, now, fiber dominance, while well, you have your fast switch fibers, you have your intermediate fibers, and you have your slower twitch fibers. Now, the fast switch fibers, meaning more prone for strength and less enduring, more uh, faster, more growth prone, then you have uh, the intermediate fibers, which are hybrid, which have, are good for strength, but are more fatigue resistant. And then you have your slow twitch fibers, which are, of course, more built for endurance, oxidative capacities, and are, don't have that much growth potential. Now, uh, first of all, I want to mention that not one muscle in your body has the same ratio of fast and slow twitch fibers. So when I'm talking about fiber dominance, I'm talking the general average of your body, your dominance, right? And I believe that there's a strong relationship between your neurological profile and your fiber dominance. Uh, like the type one, the type one is more fast twitch dominant. The type uh, so the type 1A, 1B is more fast switch dominant. Uh, the type 2s, so 2A, 2B, would have more intermediate fibers, which are more growth prone because they can handle the volume to do all that bodybuilding work, but, and are still strong enough to produce high level of force. And the type 3 neurotype would have more slow twitch fibers. And it makes sense when you think about it, because let's just think, right? If I have the neurological profile to be good at a certain task or type of task, doesn't it make sense that you have the structure to handle what the brain is built to do? I think so. Especially when you look at some research when they took the muscles of animals, I think it was mice, uh, they would unplug the, the neurons from the fast switch fibers and the neuron from the slow twitch fibers and they would change them around. So now the fast switch fibers are innervated by a slow twitch nerve and vice versa. And what they noticed was that once this, when, when this happens, the, 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 what was the slower twitch fibers became fast twitch like, whereas the slower, the faster twitch becomes slower twitch. So what that tells me is that it tells me that the nervous system is in large part responsible for the expression of your fiber dominance. It just reinforces that what your brain is built to do, well, you will have the structure to do it. So that's why if you're built for strength or explosiveness, it is normal that you will have more fast switch fibers. That is another reason why these guys are built for low reps, explosiveness, or heavy weights. It makes sense that the 2B with muscle dominant was the natural bodybuilder as the fiber that is the most conductive to bodybuilding progress. The intermediate fibers that have a decent amount of strength potential, growth potential, but also the capacity to do fatigue work. That's why they respond well to higher reps, fatigue loading, lactic acid, and volume. And it goes, uh, it goes without saying that the type 3 was built for endurance. Well, you're going to have the fibers that will help you do the endurance work, the slow twitch fiber. So I believe there's a definite connection between your, between your muscle fiber type and your neurological type, that goes without saying.